Welcome to Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to make a horse shawl pin. What you're going to need for this project are your tools and today I'm using 16 gauge artistic copper wire. You can download the template from my Etsy DIY shop. I'll link it up in the description below. I have a 36 inch piece of 16 gauge wire and I'm going to trace the template. My wire ended up being a little bit long, so you can cut a shorter amount. We are just going to go around the outside of the template, going back and forth from using our tools to tracing it right on the paper. So I have some round pliers that I'm doing some of the bends with and then you're going to rotate the template as you need so it's easier to access. So you see I hold the wire with the pliers and then bend it with my fingers and just trace the shape as you like. When you get to the chin part we're going to bend it up and then after that we'll lift it off the template and bend the wire to the back with the flat pliers and then squeeze it and pinch it in a little bit so it's more flat. Now continue to trace the shape. Just push it with your fingers to make a more curved line and then hold it with your finger and thumb in the position you need the bend. Lift it and bend it and smooth it out as you like. Now rotate it a bit. I decided to do the main slightly differently than in this template so I just bent it out and now I'm going to jump up to the ears so again hold it in place use the round pliers and do your bends pushing it with your fingers bending it around and then flat pliers to make a more pointy bend put it back on the template adjust it as you need and then curve it around this copper wire is quite flexible. It's thick, but it's pretty easy to work with. Now place it back on, hold it with the pliers, do your bends, and bend this one up. Back on the template, and then flat pliers to do the top bend. Now I decided for the main to do it simpler. I will link up the template for this design in the description. You'll have both options. This is a nice simpler design for the shawl pin. And when you buy the templates, I have all the templates included for the beaded brooches and the stick pin and the ones I did on the live stream. So let's just go ahead and continue with the main. It's kind of nice when it's a little bit uneven. Some of them are longer than others. Some of the directions can be slightly adjusted just to make it look as whimsical as possible. So use your flat pliers to make the sharper bends and then smooth it with your thumb to make the curves. And I like to do an uneven number of sections of the main. It's just a nice design concept when it's not too symmetrical. So I'm doing five uh, little wisps of the main. I decided to actually put the wire of the ear to the back. You'll see I just changed it a little bit because you want the wires to end at the back and then I'm just going to twist it so it goes straight back at a right angle that wire and I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit so it's more of a right angle wiggle it around a little bit and then this other side we're going to just bring it in get our round pliers to start the curve just push it a little bit around and then hold the end and give it a little tug to hold it in place clip the end remove that and pinch it in so there's no sharp edges and then we're going to just start the bend a little more bring this straight to the back the other wire we just want to finish it off so the ends are attached clip it 
and push the end in flush so it's not sharp. Now, do any adjustments you need to do. I'm going to curve it a little bit so it'll go around the scarf or the sweater. You could even put these in your hair as a hair clip. So it's got a little bit of a curve. And then now to do the stick, I'm taking the rest of the wire, ends up being about um, 18 inches long. We're going to bend it, hold that in place, and twist it. So just twist it around. If you hold the wires out at a consistent angle, you'll get a more even twist. So just measure it to make sure it's long enough to go across the horse. And then we're going to twist one end around and clip it. Pinch it in so it's not scratchy. And now we're going to straighten out the stick. And then the other end, we're going to cut it to about three quarters of an inch. Get your round pliers and form a loop on the end to make a sort of handle. And then you can use your flat pliers just to flatten it out a little bit. And there's the stick. I don't have a sweater, so I'm just using a mitten. I'm going to put one end in through the knit and then to the other side and it just holds in place and there you go so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry be sure to join the wire makers club on facebook and if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.